Hello there, it's the Zodiac, and we're back with Spirit Tracks. Last time, we went through the second hardest song in the game. Yes. And then, I dropped my stylus. And by dropped, I mean yeeted it across my goddamn couch. So yeah, uh, time to go do a thing to get into the dungeon. You're gonna have to talk to Gorons. Because otherwise, we won't know what to do. Can you get me from up here? I can get you from up here, you loser! Dump- <laughs> That- okay, that- that rules. Oh god, it's dead! I should go down there. Oh, you didn't drop anything, so no. Oh! Link, you stupid monster. I cannot wait until I'm playing a game where you can actually control with any sort of modicum of control. Okay, let's talk to some dumb Gorons after we go through this area again, but we can just go over here. I should get off the, the bombs. Ow! Stupid bat. I hate these keys. I am quite the musician. I'm not gonna go to the fire temple right away. Protected by three locks. Mischievous monsters that stole the keys. I... I'm not writing this down. This is basic instructions. But we can ask them for advice. Ask the people for advice on the monsters. So let's do that. Now I know what the monsters are and what their weaknesses are, but we should still talk to people just in case. They don't like a certain noise. One short noise and then one long noise. So, bonk bonk. Gon goron. <laughs> Cute. Okay, that's actually, I'm pretty sure all the information we need. Oh, a bone. I found a bone. I hope they don't mind that I stole their bone. Why do I keep on saying bone like this? Bone. Bones. Just hit them straight on. That's actually useful. They're strangely powerful, so once you get all the keys, return straight away. Got it. Okay, that's just for that mini game that I'm not going to do right away. So, time to do a thing to get to the fire temple. This should be not too difficult. Given how friggin' twisty it all is. We're probably gonna be here for a while. Oh! Little tech tight guys! Stupid. They're like the they're like the big monster that we had to deal with in the snow realm. Ah, there you are. These pachyderm guys. We have to face them head on. They're gonna deal with this guy up here first, I think. Although, that one is coming straight for us. 
So we're just gonna run into it straight away. <laughs> hey, loser! Mine. I think we can predict that go to go this way. We should actually go up here. There is a chance that I might edit this, by the way. Also, you may notice that the elephant loser is following us. You'll probably have to contend- OW! Contend with that. Can't believe I allowed myself- Loser. Anyway, just a note about those guys for Wombat of Doom, who is camping the enemies that I'm killing. Uh, bad news. We cannot kill these. They don't die. Sorry. <laughs> hey, loser. One more key. Our path is good, it seems like. We're still being followed by the pachyderms. Okay, we're gonna adjust course to go around here. I'm not gonna lie, as far as tasks to get into the dungeon go, I actually like this. We should go like that, because it'll probably get around at some point. Oh, actually. There we go. We got it, probably. Yeah, like, I do actually like this as far as minigames go. It's not difficult. It has a lot of- Why are we going this way? God! Oh my god, I hate- I hate trains so much. About face. I'm gonna do this my way. Ah, stupid elephant! I just finished- I just got finished praising you! Honestly, this doesn't actually make the place bad. I'm gonna face you head on this way. Look at me, bastard! Gotcha, bitch! And now... To the dungeon! Oh, 
Where's the other one? Ah! Loser! Dungeon away! Annie! Oh! McSilas! Okay, they're gonna be going at me real fast, so I'm gonna wait until I get into the dungeon to give my, my thoughts that I was trying to give. Oh no, they're not following me exactly. Cool. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a fun mini game because it's not all that hard, but it's intense because you are like fighting against these guys, and these guys can't kill you instantly like train cars can. So it's actually able to be challenging. Also, I just like tooting the horn. So yeah, we got to the fire temple. Forgot to turn on my fan, it's getting hot. There's no time to waste. Let's do this dungeon. I realized that by starting this dungeon now, I'm committing to finishing it today on the day that I'm recording. Sweet. Oh, uh, more bats. Go away, bat! There we go. Also, I love this music immediately. This is real good. Key. And a uh, more key. That's a lava spout looking thing. Makes me wonder what I don't be getting here. Fire bars. Owie. Ah. Simple enough. Ah, Stalfos. Oh, that was easy. Whoa! <laughs> he could just throw his head! God, I love the whip so much! Get owned. I love the whip so much, it's my favorite item. Pitfalls here mirror the other side. Make note of them. Ah! Okay, so... Just going to draw it in. Also, these snake enemies... I don't really think they're, they count as enemies, per se. There's nothing we can do to deal with them. At least as far as I'm aware. Owie! I got all sparkity spark. Pitfalls here and here, which means there, there, and there. And pitfall here. The pitfall here. This is a fun puzzle. Because it's not agonizingly difficult. Ooh, minecart. And also a good friend. I'm gonna wake you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the fan briefly so I can actually do this. Right, it's that. Hmm. 
No. And, oh, he directly tells you where the treasure chest is. Okay. That's not what I expected. Yay, minecart time! And a small key. I love... I love minecart segment, segments, honestly. I love how Link wipes out as well. That's great. It's fantastic. More games need to just allow their protagonist to eat shit when they crash into something. It's great. Uh... Oh. Okay. I'm not... Oh! Oh, I see it. I see how, it, how we're supposed to do this. I should have hit that switch beforehand, I suppose. This means a lot of running around. Truth be told, I completely forgot about this one. Ooh, a platform. Guess we know what to do with this. And the cube. Time to make good use of a cube. And now we can easily just get through this area because we know where the pitfalls are. Big green rupee. We got a lot of money. We might have to go visit Beetle when we're done this dungeon. Ah, we, we got hit. Getting that one in advance. Assuming that sticks anyway. It does not stick. Well, probably the boomerang is a bad idea for this. Just slash it. Oh no, there was a treasure chest back there. We'll have to get it. Wow, cell phones are annoying. The smallest key. Dang it. I'll edit this out. <laughs> Hooray, treasure chest! What is in you? Just a skull. Not that that's bad, I like skulls. Since we have another key, we can just... Hit the other thing. Of course, this is a little tricky. Nice. I say a little tricky, but it's a pretty simple puzzle as well. Oh, looks like a mini boss room. A big turtle! I love how cute this looks. Uh-oh. Camera! Please don't. Might need whip. Okay. Whipping and hitting it not actually helping. Owie. Let's see what he does. Okay, he just goes back in immediately, okay?
So, what do we do? Oh, I, I, I heard, I heard the zappies. We have to run him into the zappy. Ah, ouch. Come get me, loser. Oh, he doesn't get stunned for very long. Aha, we both got zappied. And dead. That was a fun boss, actually. I got a little banged up, but fun. The bow and arrow! We now have... a good friend. I love the bow and arrow. And that's where we're gonna call it today, actually. A little short, but... For the best. I hope you all enjoy. See you all next time. Take care.